Hello, David Zorzi for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. You probably know through my social media that I was invited by Universal Home Entertainment on a press junket. I was flown to London. They treated me to a stay at the Dorchester, to a manor, to Aston Martins, to Stunt Spectaculars, etc. It was amazing, all in celebration of the upcoming No Time to Die Blu-ray and DVD 4K digital version that's all going to be available to us on December 21st. Now, a part of this was speaking to some of the actors from the movie, picking their brain, asking them questions, geeking out a little bit. I have to be frank with you on that. But I had an opportunity to speak to Billy Magnuson. Now, Billy is probably one of the most positive individuals I've ever spoken to, whether celebrity or non-celebrity. He just exudes positivity. And he and I had a great conversation. These were questions that I wanted to know. And I told him about certain things going on in the Bond community, about him and what happened during the movie. I mean, we had a real conversation. And what well, you know, something I, I could go on and on about it, but why don't you take a look and then we'll come back afterwards. Billy, congratulations. Amazing Thanks, David. Performance, amazing movie. Really? You liked it? I did like it. I've seen it seriously about nine times already. Maybe that's too much. No, that's, hey, do you, man? Do you? That's really <laughs> exciting. It would be an awkward interview if you're like, I hated it. I hated it. it was, and that's my time, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. So I have questions because I inter interviewed uh, Sidorat, the, the wardrobe um, designer, and she dressed you in either white and beige or beige and white. And I'm thinking as an actor, you're looking at all these great Tom Ford suits and things like that. And you're like, this is what I got. So did you have to amp up your acting chops to stand out amongst all that color? No, I think it was such a brilliant, I did, I did talk to them about it. I was like, really? Nothing, nothing cool. Not like a slick whatever, and I got I got it though. That's the whole thing. It was this cookie cutter kind of like, you know, preppy kind of, uh, I don't know, just vanilla kind of person. And I, I think it was kind of cool, weirdly, in that world. You yeah, know, like again, where it is all heightened, S yes. sir. I didn't no, it's like you. frat boy gone wrong type of. Yeah. Thing. Well, I think he gone right in his head. You know, he was doing what was right for the world. That's right. No one All plays right. a villain in their own life. I, I got to remember that. That's a little yeah. note. So oh. I think you're going to love this. The Bond community of fans out there, they're running a poll. It's actually gotten huge. The three best fights on Bond films. Uh, you got From Russia With Love, uh, the mm -hmm. train sequence. You've got Daniel Craig and Quantum of Solace when he's fighting yeah. in the hotel room. And now yours on the boat. Shut up. Really? This is thousands of people. So what? Yeah, you're you're in it, man. You're in the history books, but Woo! But it segues into a question. Okay. So, when you found out you were getting a fight scene with James Bond, what went through your head? Oh, I like that was literally when Carrie was like, "Hey, hey, we're I think I have a character for you." I was like, "Do I get to find Bond? Do I get to fight Bond? Do I get to fight Bond?" <laughs> and like I remember walk, uh, working with this uh, French. Um, choreography team or what are you the stunt team and being like talking to them and discovering it uh figuring it out and i do have to say i had to ask them i was like come on let me let me let me rock bond a few times let me get to a punch in or there and it, and it was it was awesome i mean you did an amazing job it was so thanks. brutal brutal it was it's it was very carnal you know yeah we because again like I think what I love about Daniel Craig's Bond specifically, everyone else is so smooth and elegant and like chill. Daniel is just like a sledgehammer of an actor and a person. And that's what I kind of love about his Bond. It's very barbaric in a yeah, weird way. Yeah, he's like way. A, a brick through a, a plate glass window. It's just well, do you remember the, the one Bond opening where it was the guy that was like parkour and fluid and he moved to like a ballerina and then you had Bond busting through walls. It was literally the juxtaposition of these two archetypes of people. And that's what I think I love about Daniel Craig's Bond. It's true. That was part of his introduction. So I think you can help me win an argument with another Bond okay. fan. Here we go. Let's go. Let's um, go. I, so he argued with me that your character, Ash, was faking 
that he was a fan of Bond in the movie. And I said, no, 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 no. I think he was a fan through and through. Oh, I think he's a fan through and through. Right? Yeah, through and through, 100%. And like, yeah, I just don't think he's smooth. I don't think Logan Ash is a smooth guy. I think he, he wants to be. I, I legitimately think he's a fan. You know, just by your description right there, I'm going to go out on a limb. Didn't even think of this before. I think Logan Ash represents Bond fans. We smile way too much when we're with Bond. <laughs> and we're a bit awkward at times, too. Yeah. No, just think? like my life. Yes. That sounds, sounds good. <laughs> so you're, you're just living the acting thing. All right. That's... Last question. Last question. Okay. And, and it's a big one. When you first get this role, I'm sure, and I've heard you speak about this, you felt the gravitas. You felt the weight of being in a Bond movie. Now that it's a bit behind you, Blu-ray DVD is coming out. People are going to watch it over Christmas. Is it still heavy for you? Do you still stop and think, wow? It's funny. I didn't, uh, I want to say I feel it now. The wow is more now than I was going through some personal stuff while shooting it. And then like when it first came out in theaters, again, it's like this weird time. I wasn't able to go to the premiere and I couldn't feel it, you know? And now it's really looking back and being so proud of it. Uh, for what it is, it, it, now I feel it more than anything, That's because cool. as as an actor, like you're working through the film. I'm not going into work be like I'm working on a Bond film. No, I'm thinking about my character and what I have to do for the project. You know, it, it's going to hit you probably over the holidays, but it's hit us. You did an oh. amazing job, and and the Thanks, other thing bro. I'm going to add is when we do these things and people see you. You look like you're having fun with this, so we appreciate that. Oh, I'm so nervous. I get so nervous about this. Okay. This is the biggest platform. Like, it's insane, man. This is massive. Well, that makes two of us. Billy, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have a good holidays. Have a thank happy you. holidays. You yeah. too. I told you, right? I mean, I don't know who is more excited. Him, me. You know what? I, I think it was him. He was incredibly excited, incredibly genuine, very authentic, and we probably could have gone on for a lot longer, but you only have a, a smidgen amount of time. And I promised you behind the scenes of this press junket, and one of the coolest parts was um, one of the people from Universal took a picture of Billy and I talking. And you'll notice that in the picture, I'm sitting there laughing. I've got these kind of unique uh, pants on, and uh, Billy's shirt matched my pants perfectly and everybody from universal had a good laugh about it it was uh it was fun but you know imagine you go into this room and there's lights everywhere and there's microphones and it it just it it's amazing it's an incredible experience i was very lucky to have it very lucky to connect with billy and of course find out more about his character Ash. So there you have it. There'll be more exciting videos coming around. No time to die in the celebration of what Universal put on. So stay tuned for more. This has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience. We'll be back soon. See you then. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.